Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to another Power Rangers Hiya! arcade mode. So last time we Yay. looked at Jason, the OG Red Ranger, and today we are looking at Tommy. Tommy Oliver. But not uh, Super Pete Down Tommy, just regular Tommy. MMPR. Regular Tommy. And we're going to bring in regular Jason. And uh, let's keep the Mighty Morphin train going. Let's bring in Kimmy Cub as MMPR Yay. Kimmy with the Dragon Zord, since Tommy is the lead character for today. It's Morphin time! And uh, check out the uh, Cool Versus video that we posted, which I believe is uh, Gia versus somebody. I, I don't remember. Gia or, versus someone! We did a bunch of versus. Goldar. It's, I thought it was Gia versus Goldar. They were two gold people. Yeah, we did the, but the, yeah. We did Gia versus Goldar. We did Ranger Slayer versus somebody. Ah, it doesn't matter. Check out our other versus videos. Yep, in the playlist. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe. It's Morphin time. See how well that works. Oh, yeah! All right, let's give Tommy a spin. See how we do with Arcade. So Tommy, he's kind of like in terms of fighting prowess in this game, I would say he's kind of like the Ryu character. Like, I mean, Jason is kind of like a Street Fighter Ryu or Ken character because he has the uppercut. Oh, but okay. Tommy has literally the Hadouken, and he has oh. uh, also a variation of the uppercut. But I mean, they're both fast and fun to play as. Mm -hmm. But I really like playing as Gia too. Gia's a blast. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Uh oh. Come on, Tommy. I mean, is this how Tommy's outfit looks like in the show? Because it has like so much gold detail and trim on everything. This is the uh, Super Sentai Green Ranger, so yes. Oh, okay. This is what he looked like. So no uh, no quilt shield for this Tommy. Aww. Also, it would explain why this Tommy is shorter than some of the other ones because the dude who played uh, the oh. Green Ranger in Japan. It's very tiny compared to the uh, red and green ranger in America. Oh my gosh, that's really funny. I know. Also, it shows how uh, a thin they were. Um, Jason was super bulky, so he really stood out in his spandex. And Tommy had a little bit of muscle, not as much as Jason, yeah. but more than the Japanese stunt guys. Yeah. So uh, you would be able to tell the difference. That's funny. I know. So this is totally Mighty Morphin versus uh, Arcade, which I, I like that. It's fun seeing the OGs. Uh, sorry, yeah, Cat. You love the original Power Rangers. The first season. Who doesn't? Yeah. Well, there are yeah, the people who haven't season, really grown up definitely. with the first season, but a lot of Power Rangers is still on Netflix. Yeah. Yep. To some extent. I know. You can find so many things on Netflix. For Except sure. for Korean dramas. Korean dramas and no cat videos. Yeah. You must find more. cat videos on YouTube. Everybody needs cat videos. I love that throw. It's so fun. You know what really bothers me is sometimes I watch either Netflix or like Amazon Prime and I see other Ooh. other YouTubers like Let's Play series on there and I'm oh. just like I'm just like what is going on here? You can't sell your Let's Play series on a mo video platform and I was just thinking or can and, you? Or can you? I don't know. <sighs> so weird. Bum 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 bum. That's the dragon flute. That's how it starts. Mm. Yeah. Kind of. Although da, I. Da, 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 or something. Nope, nope, not that. All right, I guess I'm. Ba, 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 ba. That's that's uh, how. And then. Thank you. And then that. the dragon sword goes. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, because the lights are lighting up. Yeah, maybe. Um, what? Red Ranger couldn't have the shield over his body because you had to see all his muscles under his, his rippling muscles under his suit. No, that's that's not what it was. Green Ranger, the reason why he was so powerful, it's not because it was Tommy. Uh, a lot of people don't understand this is Tommy was evil. Uh, the original Power Rangers, it's kind of like a Shazam moment. Zordon chose the only five worthy teenagers, not in Angel Grove, in the world to yeah. become Power Rangers. And they all happen to be around Angel Grove. Yeah, I know, they happen to be in Angel Grove. But yeah, Grove. that was the main... I think that I was telling Luke before, like, that was one of the main things that bothered me about Tommy becoming a ranger was... He wasn't chosen. Like, he wasn't originally chosen. Also, it doesn't feel right for somebody who's trying to kill you one minute to turn around and be like, Oh, I guess 
this person is now part of your team. Like when they were working. Well, there was some brainwashing involved. Yeah, but it's just like, just because this person was evil doesn't qualify you to be a team member. Like, well, I mean, he stole the powers, so you know. Yeah, but that still doesn't qualify. That's not fair. It's like. It's like saying if you're a criminal and you steal a policeman's outfit so that you can commit crime, and then you know you find out, oh, oh, it's, it's you were evil little... before, and now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna be good. They're like, well, you already have the police outfit, so you might as well just be part of the police team. That's basically the same thing. You haven't watched a bunch of Super Sentai, so I'm anyway. I'm saying like just because you have the outfit doesn't mean that you're part of the team. It doesn't make any sense. Well, it means you love cosplay and have superpowers. So anyway, Zordon summoned five teenagers with attitude, Shazam style, and passed on the powers to Morph. But what's interesting is he didn't select Rocky, Adam, and Aisha. He didn't select Tommy, and he didn't select Kat. All these teenagers were around during the time and around the same age as the original five, yet... Yep. Jason, Trini, Zach, Billy, and Kimberly were the only ones that were proven worthy. Tommy ended up getting his powers after basically stealing the green powers from uh, Rita and Jason breaking the spell and Zordon let him continue to be the Green Ranger although he had some regrets with that because Tommy had an attitude. There were several episodes where it wasn't that Tommy was evil but it was one of the reasons why he wasn't selected is because he was rough around the edges. He had a lot of problems. He was kind of rebellious. So that is kind of why he and Jason butted heads. Jason was not necessarily the good student, but he was the one that understood the responsibilities that he was given, and he was going to do his best to, you know, uh, yeah. rock I, that. I actually heard that there was an episode where Zordon actually explained to Tommy why he wasn't chosen as the leader. Yes, it was in the first season. So... I don't understand this whole thing where people would have this rivalry, like, who's the best, because obviously... Oh, Toku Chris is playing. Stop! I mean, I don't know what people mean by the best. Number one, they're not supposed to be competing against each other because it's supposed to be a team. And number two, the leader was already chosen by Zordon, which is, you know, like, I feel like people need to respect leadership. Like, you shouldn't always be trying to usurp people's authority and trying to, like, bring them down after they've already been chosen as the leader, so... I don't, I feel like all that tension is so unnecessary, like, I don't really understand why people would be like, oh, who's the best, because, let's see, Jason was already chosen by Zordon I, as I, the I leader. Just, I have to say this, okay? Uh, later in Zeo, when Jason comes back and he says he's proud of Tommy for taking care of the Rangers, under Tommy's watch, the Thunder Megazords were destroyed, the oh Ninja Megazords were destroyed, Kimberly wow. retired, uh, the powers were destroyed. The kids were turned, or the teenagers were turned into children. Zordon had to bring in a bunch of, um, aliens from the planet Aquatar to fill in for the Power Rangers since they were too little. Yep. If I was the Gold Ranger and I came back and I got a report from Zordon what happened while I was away, I'd be like, you're demoted, Tommy. I'm the leader of the Power Rangers again. Yeah. Not a, the only thing that happened on my watch is you lost your powers. Well, I have to say, for people who say Tommy would be a better leader than Jason, he actually got a chance to be a leader, and during that time, I believe the ratings went so low that they had to bring in little kids to make the people yep. come back. The ratings dropped so much so, on Power Rangers that they had to adapt another uh, series of Super Sentai. It, and it, Saban... Saban was kind of like on cloud nine because he thought that he could just survive on Green Ranger stuff. He kind of salvaged the ratings for a little bit when they had White Ranger versus Green Ranger. So the entire episode was basically Tommy playing himself versus Tommy. So you had like uh, Evil Green Ranger, which was Tommy acting like I'm the Evil Green Ranger again. And then White Ranger Tommy, who's just like, you know, long haired uh, Tommy, no ponytail. And he's yeah. just and no bandana, no like uh, kind of like um, gone Wait. between, I'm serious, gone between bad boy Green Ranger to good boy White Ranger, like, um, Zordon's, uh, favorite kid. But what? And Wait. the entire episode is, you don't even see the other Rangers, really. I think they get kidnapped or something, and it's just Tommy, the whole episode, fighting Tommy. Wow. I'm serious. Wait, you're saying in some shots he had a ponytail and some shots he didn't? Well, yeah, did when, when he that? was the Green Ranger, he dressed kind of like a punk a little bit. He had a bandana he wore on his head. Um, he was, like, 
he lived the teenagers with attitude thing in season one, but I loved him for that. I thought it was great. Um, his shift oh, yeah. in the White Ranger, it was a complete personality. It was like he was trying to be Jason oh, and yeah. Tommy at the same time, and it just felt really weird. Well, I feel like the whole way they wrote the script wasn't really... A lot of it wasn't even Jason David Frank's fault, because it was no. stupid lines that they wrote for him that didn't make any sense. Like, oh, well now, magically, they fired Austin St. John, so I'm suddenly the, the leader, and even though I was told by Zordon I wasn't qualified to be the leader, now, magically, I am the leader Continuity. And well, no, like, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. JDF was actually on Cloud9 after the first season of Power Rangers, and he was going on to be the star of, uh, I believe it was VR Troopers. Like, oh. instead of the Gold Ranger. The Gold Ranger was Brad Hawkins. And uh, more or less what happened, he was over there filming the pilot, and he was going to be the star of his own show. Yeah. Make more money and do this. I mean, it was nice of him to take a pay cut, so to speak, to continue to be the, gold, uh, the Green Ranger. But yeah. at the same time, when he came back for the second season, he did everything he could to try to take the spotlight around from ASJ, and that's kind of where the beef started yeah, that... between the two, because um, Tommy would show up early to get more scenes than Jason and Walter Jones, and he just kind of showboated a little bit too much, and he was Saban's favorite. Everybody knew it on the set. Yeah, that's but... why he got his own show, like VR Troopers. I... Yeah, that's what I don't understand. Like, say, like, I'm in a team of, like, soccer players or, like, at my... Oh, yeah! Or my school or something like that. If I if I show up before <laughs> class every day and kind of suck up to the teacher every day, of course the teachers, I'm going to be teacher's pet. But then again, everyone in my class would hate me. I just feel like it's not really fair. You're kind of, like, undermining the rest of your classmates. You're supposed to be a team. Right. And so when the original five became just uh, two and Tommy, because Tommy is technically, people call him an original, but he came in like halfway near the end of the first season. And he wasn't really a regular until season two. He was kind of like, you know, Batman in Justice League, who was like a part time member. That's what the Green Ranger was like. Most of the time that Green Ranger would show up in the show in the first season, it was the stunt guy uh, seeing Tommy, the actor. You hardly ever saw him. Um, once in a while he would show up with the rest of the gang, but I believe that's because he was filming the pilot for VR Troopers. And then yeah. when you saw him more after The Green with Evil and uh, a couple other episodes in Season 1 where he's helping out the Rangers and losing his powers, um, he was doing something else for Saban. So you're saying that Jason David Frank was supposed to have a different show? He wasn't supposed to be the Green Ranger in Season 2? He was supposed to have two different shows. What? Why didn't why didn't he just move on and do a different show then? He because uh, people were so upset. Here's the thing: when uh, Saban was adapting Power Rangers, everybody knew in the cast that the Green Ranger was supposed to die and have his powers given to the Red Ranger, and that's yeah. how Power Rangers was going to end. And they were going to find a way to make it kid friendly. So um, Tony maybe Oliver, he could, maybe Tommy could have gone to a peace conference. <laughs> no. Tony Oliver, the guy who was responsible for giving Rick Hunter his voice in Robotech and was a big uh, writer and producer on Power Rangers Season 1 through Zeo. Really cool guy. Yeah. I like him. He's done a lot for the sci-fi community and things like that. He found a way of making sure that Tommy didn't die because it was a kid's show. They were like, oh my gosh, you know, how are we going to do tribute to the Japanese series that we're using their footage for? while also not freaking out kids. And yeah. so their idea was, you know, Tommy was going to be Terminal Ranger in the sense and have his powers slowly disappearing because the powers are evil in nature. And even though Zordon is doing all he can to sustain the powers for good, because everything was corrupted by Rita when the Green Ranger coin was stolen from Zordon, yeah. and he can't really be around it, yeah. um, when his powers were fully gone, Thanks to the Red Ranger powers, the coin was able to be revived and to make Jason stronger. So it wasn't supposed to be this really sad thing. I mean, the cast yeah. was all cool. Um, JDF was happy because he was going to get his own show, which then was going to be airing just, the next year. Why didn't they just do that? Because parents had their kids call into the show during its hiatus and begged for the Green Ranger to come back somehow. 
So then they spent the next like four to five months trying to figure out how to bring the go- uh, the Green Ranger back. That was so stupid because it was the worst season of Power Rangers ever. That yeah, season season two had a lot of problems. Stung. The cast fell apart. And there was it, a lot of ten- drama uh, behind the scenes. It creates tension between like uh, Tommy and Jason. Not like a friendly tension, but really messed up tension. They were actually close friends before the second season. Wow. Finally, the Green Ranger returns. You don't deserve that coin, Tommy. Ha ha ha. Come and take it from me then, lunkhead. So yeah, see, Tommy always has attitude, which is awesome for the first season because you can see the badness still in yeah, him. Yeah, he's like... If Power Rangers was around today with Beast Morphers or even Dino Thunder, then Tommy, for most of the show, would have been played up as a bad guy and it would have worked. Like, even though the Green with Evil Saga is one of the best things about any Power Rangers show, it was so short-lived using Tommy as a villain, because in Super Sentai, the Green Ranger was kind of like an anti-hero for most of the show. Yeah. It wasn't near the end of, like, the 50 episodes that he would work with the Rangers. So, but they couldn't do that because it was a children's show about... Um, working together and teamwork, so they had to find some way of incorporating Green Ranger I, more into the show. I just feel so that's, that's so why stupid. they had the quilted shield. I mean, it was brilliant because the first season is unparalleled. Yeah, that's just dumb. Like, I feel like they should have just told the parents, "Well, we don't have a script for the, you know, we have a different show plan for the second season." Like, we're not. Well, Americans don't deal well with characters being killed off. When Optimus Prime died, uh, there was this huge thing in the '80s with parents doing stuff. Um, parents obviously were sleeping when Robin was blown up because nobody cared about Jason Todd. There yeah. was no real outcry over it. Um, but when Duke was supposed to be, uh, killed in G.I. Joe, like, there was a massive outcry that they had to change it before the movie went into theaters. They had to add, like, a, a post-credit, or a post, like, ad-lib scene where they say, It's okay, Duke just went into a coma, even though people are crying over him and, like, you know, and then at the end of the movie, they insert a scene, like, right before they do the Yo Joe, where they say, Guys, everyone, Duke came out of a coma, he's gonna be okay, and they go, Yo Joe! Yet you never see him in the franchise again until they rebooted G.I. Joe, and lo and behold, they kind of talk about it a little bit, like, Oh yeah, I was messed up by Serpentor, but I'm back and ready to work with the Joes again. And he became wow. leader, but... Americans didn't know, especially children, how to deal with loss. But I have a question, though. In the Sentai version, didn't kids watch that? In oh, yeah. Japan? In Japan? Then what was the problem? Why? And also, this is what I think is hypocritical of the Power Rangers whole team, is there were several Rangers that have died since Tommy. Uh, that was later, and those kids grew up with, like, the power transfer and, like, Tommy losing his powers. It was all kind of, like preparing people for future ranger seasons You're where saying, actors would be replaced or killed off in the show. But that doesn't make any sense if people could have... My work is not yet done, Goldar, but you are finished! <laughs> I don't really understand, like, w- hmm? so kids in the future saw Power Rangers die, but kids in the past couldn't handle Tommy dying? I can't understand. Yeah, I Lost Galaxy, I never understood that. Like, the actress had cancer, so that's why she had to be replaced. But, um, but uh, they did it in a... No, they didn't do it in a way that gave closure. She literally died and became a ghost, and then that was it. I'm talking about. Like, yeah. people died in the future Power Rangers show. So mm-hmm. It doesn't make any... It's probably because it was the first one. Also, I thought what was more horrifying than death was what happened to Billy, where he ended up going to another planet and having to marry an alien person. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. disturbing. I would have uh, rather just died. I'm okay, guys, even though it's not really me, and I'm the production <laughs> head, or the lighting guy. I, I don't even remember who he was. He was somebody who they said kind of looked like an older Billy, and they're like, well, David Yost, like, walked off the set, so what are we going to do now for the next episode? I got it. Remember when we sent the kids on the peace conference? Well, this time Billy's going on a field trip into space. I just, I felt disturbed. I was like, I think Billy could have found a nice girl. Also, I felt really upset because I thought Billy and Trini were going to end up together. I was so annoyed. Well, actually, Uh believe it or not, they were hinting at two romances for Trini, should Power Rangers have continued. Um, Yeah? It would either be Jason or Mm -hmm. Zack. 
Boom Comics oh, okay. did both Jason and Zach. Oh. So in the past, apparently, okay. the GoGo Power Ranger comics, Trini and Jason became an item, and then in the world of the Coinless, which is an alternate reality to Power Rangers, and where Lord Draken is from, Zach and Trini became a couple. Oh, okay. And then in the Power Ranger universe, after another alternate universe where Jason, Trini, and Zach went to the uh, peace conference. Um, later on, she and Zach end up becoming a couple. And they work together in Africa. Oh, that's cute. It is cute. Jason is off rebelling, doing his thing. I don't know. Yes. No, he's driving he's motorcycles through dri the desert. Driving motorcycles, and he's picking up important uh, things for Zordon. He's like on secret missions on Earth, which they've never done a comic about, but um, in the... Uh, Pink Ranger comic book where Kim is older and she's recruited to be a ranger again when the uh, replacement rangers are off on another planet and there's nobody to protect the earth. She gets Trini, Zack, and two local people to become rangers So and she becomes the leader and she asks, well, why can't um, Jason come and help me? And Zordon says, uh, I have Jason doing an errand uh, somewhere else of vast significance. And you oh. never find out what he's doing. I feel like with all the power struggle where, you know, like they kept pitting Tommy against Jason, kind of like, almost like taking his, like telling him he's the leader, uh -oh. but then making it like he's not and stuff like that. I feel like Jason kind of got vindicated like later on. With Gold Ranger? With Gold Ranger because they said, oh yeah, like, you know, I was actually leaving the Power Rangers to Tommy while I was off on secret miss missions that were really important. No, he was he was just doing stuff on the... That was later in his career. That was after Zeo. Oh. After Zeo, he goes and does some stuff. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, I feel like that really gave, like... I don't know. I feel like that really kind of mm, gave the, the original... Give closure to all the fans of the original Red Ranger. He ad-libbed that, too. That scene where they are, um, you know... Because they're supposed to be best friends in the show, so when they're hanging out and Jason says it's good to be back, he brought up the fact that he was at the peace conference. It wasn't in the script. It's Jay did that. Yeah, I would have And too, he because... did it too because he wanted to give closure to the original show. Exactly. And the I actors. Felt, I felt better about the original show too. That's one of the it... reasons I loved uh, Zio so much. Yep. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. I am a god. You will kneel before Tommy or be crushed. <laughs> You had the upper hand at every stage, and yet, here we are. At nice Tommy voice there. Tommy voices. Yeah, diff too different. Teenager with attitude, Tommy. And then you've got Did he really Evil sound Tommy. like that as Lord Dragon, or you're just being... Um, JDF, when he did it, he played it over the top. Because remember, he did play the character in a commercial. Oh, wow. oh. And he's just trying to be, like, all operatic and evil. Yeah. It's cool. I really want a Lord so, Draken JDF miniseries. So you think he did really well as Lord Draken, then? Yes. That's and he, cool. I would be full supportive if Saban or Hasbro wants to do a Netflix dark miniseries with Lord Draken, JDF, as a star mm. going after, um, you know, another multiverse rangers. And what they could do is... I know ASJ and the other Rangers are too old now, but you could still use those character names and have it take place in another reality where, you know, Jason, Trini, Zack, all those characters look a little bit different than they did in the Power Rangers show, yeah. but still have those be the original characters. Yes. And then fast forward into the world of the Coinless, I... where you have, like, Walter Jones come back, you have um, uh, David Yaus come back. Oh, no, wait, no, David Yaus and Austin are dead in that universe, so it would just be... Uh, Zach, Aisha, um, Adam, and Rocky, and then you would have uh, one of those kids, which would be one of the kids who plays Tommy, like the new Tommy and the new Billy, you know, working in the world of the Coinless. I think that would be a great yeah. miniseries, and for adult fans of Power Rangers, it would be really interesting. They could do it on a budget, and they could make a Netflix series. I'm gonna pitch it. I'm gonna, yeah, that would I'm gonna be contact awesome. my uh, my Hasbro rep. Oh my gosh. I'm serious. I think that would that, be fantastic. I, I would think that it would be actually pretty cool to have like the Power Rangers, the MMPR Power Rangers, played by different people. New kids. Yeah. The same costumes. I think it's their idea. The idea of that original show kind of transcends. Yes, it was made famous by those actors, but I feel like. I don't know. I feel like that would be really cool. I feel like they could totally pull that off. 
they're kind of playing the, the original characters. Because those characters are kind of characters that were formed in and of themselves, not just the actors. Well, they didn't replace the characters for the uh, 2017 movie. They did Mighty Morphin again. They chose those same characters. Oh, and going yeah, you're forward right. for the next three for the movies. 2017 movie. I mean, and they have the same names. The Zeo Rangers might be a new cast, but. I'm pretty sure the Dino Rangers um, in the Lionsgate yeah. movie will continue being the original five. I mean, I guess... It's over, Tommy! This is what you get for being evil! Dragon Sword power! The only thing Ha-ha. I didn't like about the newer movie was just like... I mean, I guess it was alright, but like, I kind of... Hang on, there's Sorry. probably gonna be a speech bubble, because this all is... Right, yep, there fine. it is. I know the pain you're in, Tommy! I know how it feels so bad to be alone. You don't have to be alone, though, man. You've got friends. Or you did before you killed them all, you yeah, psycho. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. And there you go, people. That is Tommy's Arcade Mode. I'll have to say my opinion on it another time. Well, I mean, the only other Tommy we'll be playing as is Dark Tommy. Oh, I said I was going to say the thing I didn't like about the new movie, the newest movie. Say it quick, because this is the ending credits. No, I just, I guess I missed the old Trini so much. And Everybody was, misses the old it Trini. It was so weird to see somebody that, I mean, I guess I, I guess it would be weird if they were just played by an Asian actor just because, but I guess she didn't seem anything like old Trini. And well, she, she's not. It's another universe of Power Rangers. It's yeah. part of the Power Rangers multiverse. It, it is the... Made me, it made me kind of sad. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I really liked uh, their interpretation of Billy. I kind of like Jason, but I didn't like the fact that he wasn't a martial artist. He was just a football player. But I mean, you know, it's part of the Ranger multiverse. So Jason, Trini, and Zach's, and Kimberly, and Billy's, and Tommy's, they exist throughout the multiverse, but they're not quite how you remember them. They can be a different race. They can be a different gender. Personality. Personality, everything. But anyway, people, that is the Tommy Oliver Arcade. Thank you so much for watching. Join us tomorrow for the Gia Arcade Run. Oh boy, that's going to be interesting. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed some Ranger lore and some behind the scenes of the original show. And uh, just having fun playing Power Rangers. We'll see you guys with more Power Rangers later today. God bless and happy gaming.